Hello everyone, welcome to the very first episode of Cooking for My Angels. My name is Satoko Hongo and I am a Japanese mother of three sons. Oh, my boys are already 22, 19, 16, so I'm not really raising them right now. But as since my kids are very healthy, people around me ask me how I cook every meal. So I started teaching cooking to the people around me. But after the COVID-19, I started teaching online in Japanese. But I started to think that my cooking might help people around the world because not so many Japanese die from COVID-19 because Japanese are comparatively healthy people. Probably because of our diet. So for the first things to tell you, I, I've chosen chicken nuggets, which is probably everyone's favorite food. But in the chicken nugget, not only chicken inside, but also and the dried vegetable in it. So please stay tuned. To make chicken nuggets, you should need chicken meat, one chicken breast. So we cut it into maybe two or three centimeters and we put it into the food processor but before that maybe we should better crush the dried food this is koya tofu which is very famous traditional japanese food which is you know freeze dried tofu and this is cut and dried daikon radish which is cut it into maybe a centimeters long and then we put it to food a food processor and then we're gonna break the tofu it's very hard but we just break it because it doesn't want to go into the food processor so when it's ready we're gonna mix them in the food processor with up and then it turns out like this most of the tofu is crushed well daiko is not crushed but you don't have to worry about it and then we put the chicken meat and breaking i am and then we gonna put some miso and where's my miso oh here it is and this is my homemade miso and miso is very traditional japanese basic seasonings with made out of soybeans and then we put one tablespoon of miso into this here and the next we just gonna mix it mix it once oh I forgot something I forgot to put onions a quarter of an onion cut it roughly and go into the this food processor too and then we gonna mix it well like this this food processor is very small but it's very well very good players to cook something like this and then i think i my meat chicken was a little bit too big so i'm just gonna 
cut it so that this food processor is can mince it way too big maybe probably so going to here again and then We're gonna try again. Try to miss it. See, so check it when it's really doing the good job. And it turns out like this. And since the upside upper side is not minced well we just gonna push it into it and then the skin is troublesome so you unhold the chicken skin and then try mixing it again and let's see well it doesn't have to be truly combined. It's when it's you find um chicken block in your chicken nugget, it won't be not bad. I mean, it won't be not bad. So, so when it's ready. When it becomes like this wash my hands to prevent from food poisoning and then we need a skillet and I'm trying to find where's my olive oil where's my olive oil ah uh, here so I put some of some olive oil into the, the skillet usually chicken nugget is deep fried but you know we don't need so much oil to fry it so we just put this amount and then we make a butter the one egg into a bowl and then we put three tablespoons of water but instead of just water we use this dashi broth but it can be just a water just usual water and then three tablespoons of water and we need flour we should I should have brought flour, wheat flour, but I forgot, so I use this rice powder here. This is rice powder made in Saitama prefecture. And then we need three, not four, no, four tablespoons of rice powder. Rice powder is very convenient. It can be used like cornstarch or like flour instead of flour so it's very helpful ingredient and we mix it we stir it with chopsticks and mix it well and it through and it becomes smooth like this and then we put this chicken into this butter and then put it into the heated preheated oil and then we make it make it until everything is into the skillet So 
almost done all the process is done already for the chicken nuggets when everything go into skillet it's done but well maybe it's maybe a little bit more ingredient to, to go into this one skillet but I'm trying to save my time so I think I'm gonna put it all into the skillet but there's something mother made dishes because if you don't love your kids or the people who will eat this dish we don't think of putting daikon radish or onions to the chicken nugget it, you know by putting daikon or onion or miso into the, the chicken it would be very nutritious food than just using chicken and if my kids have dinner with chicken nugget and daikon salad they just eat chicken nugget but if they eat this chicken nugget they can get nutrition from daikon radish or onion by just eating this nugget so I think it's very healthy way and easy way to we don't have to yell at the kids to oh please eat vegetable don't leave it or eat salad but we just put this and then everything's in inside Oh, it takes time and then we just want it to be golden brown well the size are different <laughs> and it's not really beautiful thing but you know we don't have to sell it we just eat it with our family so we don't have to imitate the restaurant technique it's just mother way of cooking so maybe it's we try to finish it let's see how it cooked so I take out one and then break it to see how how done it is let's see mm, maybe a little bit more a few more minutes to go and we reduce the flame and then we will slowly cook it after a couple of minutes and then we check the big one and then maybe a bit more for this big one but maybe smaller one should be ready so we take it out so good so nice smell I think I forgot to put any peppers or nutmeg spices, but it should be good. Mm, it's ready to go. It's done. Isn't it look good? Well, but it doesn't look like chicken nuggets. But I think your kids or your family will love it. So 
so this is how it turned out. I cooked other stuff too, so I just take it out the chicken nuggets part. And this is Naomi who was cameraman for this lesson. She will try the nuggets. See how she is, a smile on her face. She says it's really good. It's since it's, it has tofu inside, it's not too heavy and it's very light and tastes good. And she said, well, everybody should try making it. And that's all for chicken nuggets and with daikon radish, miso, Japanese like ingredient, but it doesn't taste like Japanese at all. So I think everybody around you like it, so please make it for your angel. If you have any hints to cook for your angels through this video, please Push the like button or subscribe. I will see you pretty soon. See you.